Good morning to everybody. First of all, I would like to explain uh, abbreviation of uh, PTRHT means uh, poly 3 hexyl tyrefin which is a uh, conductant polymer. Uh, this polymer is used in organic electronics and uh, particularly in organic solar cells. So the interest in this polymer is uh, uh, not only due to uh, because this polymer conducts electricity and absorbs in the visible range, but also because it can experience uh, different conformational uh, change, which results in uh, overall disorder of uh, polymer molecule. And the progress in organic photovoltaics in the recent years uh, is mainly due to the uh, due to the uh, development of an uh, inter interface between donor and acceptor uh, components uh, uh, from the planar uh, uh, morphology to bulk data rejection morphology where uh, donor and acceptor uh, materials form uh, domains of the size of the order of uh, approximately 10 nanometers and uh, the um, overall um, performance of uh, such organic solar cells is dependent on sorry. Okay. And uh, uh, but performance performance of uh, organic solar cell uh, in, uh, with bulk getter junction morphology is greatly dependent on the uh, size of the domains and arrangement of molecules inside these domains. So polytyrophan uh, can be um, prepared uh, uh, with different uh, extent of ordering and uh, the ordering is dependent on uh, uh, in, in principle uh, the uh, Ordering. Uh, if we prepare uh, polytyrophan molecules in a very well ordering um, morphology, uh, uh, so, in principle, in uh, such a morphology, we have a very good uh, electron transport uh, along the chains, but uh, also we have very good uh, exciton quenching because uh, the polymer uh, molecules uh, uh, arrange very tightly to each other. Uh, and on the other hand, if we have a disordered molecule, we have a bad electron transport, but uh, more or less. Uh, a good uh, um, exciton uh, dissociation at the interface between a polymer and uh, some um, uh, organic acceptor. So um, uh, that is why it is imp important to, uh, to study uh, uh, factors which influence disorder uh, in, in, or order in, in uh, polymer molecules. Uh, so, uh, in principle, there are different methods uh, to control uh, uh, ordering of uh, polytyphon molecules, uh, which are listed here, and I will concentrate only on the solid and environmental control. So, in this method, uh, in principle, there are a lot of uh, solvents which can be used to solve this polymer, and uh, one group of solvents like uh, chloroform or chlorobenzene, etc., are very good solvents for this polymer. The other group of solvents, uh, shown by yellow, uh, have intermediate ability to uh, solve this polymer, and uh, we have also one group of solvents which are very bad solvents for this polymer. So if we dissolve this polymer in good solvent and add uh, some amount of bad solvent, we can induce, uh, uh, we can induce uh, aggregation of molecules and variation in uh, disorder in structural arrangement of this group. So this is shown uh, on the example of uh, uh, using of uh, <coughs> pairs of solvent like uh, chlorobenzene and acetone, which, uh, uh, good and bad solvent, and uh, tetrahydrofuran and water. So uh, uh, when we uh, add uh, bad solvent, we have a gradual change of the molecular-like uh, absorption and uh, emission spectra to 
uh, absorption and emission of aggregates. Uh, and uh, in principle, uh, if we compare uh, this spectra, spectra of aggregates which uh, are, are formed in the binary co-solvents with a uh, uh, spectra of crystalline uh, polymer film, uh, we can see uh, differences in the two regions. The first region is due to contribution of am amorphous uh, uh, phase uh, in, uh, in aggregates uh, formed in, uh, in the solvent. And the second region is more interesting for us because it reflects the um, ratio between uh, uh, first and second uh, absorption bands, which correspond to 0, 0 fundamental transition and uh, uh, vibronic side bands. And uh, the difference between crystalline and <coughs> aggregated uh, species uh, are due to the different uh, order <coughs> disorder processes in, in these aggregates. Uh, so, um, if we deposit the um, uh, film uh, from uh, binary solvent to the uh, uh, substrate, we can see that the uh, film uh, have uh, very uh, Disordered structure, disordered morphology, and uh, uh, electron diffraction pattern shows that uh, uh, most of this material is in the amorphous phase. Uh, if we look at morphology uh, of the films, we can uh, distinguish uh, two groups of morphologies. The first group is a uh, uh, dense morphology, and the second group uh, loose morphology, where we see a lot of uh, holes and uh, free spaces uh, uh, between the um, aggregates of uh, uh, polymer uh, polytyphon aggregates. Uh, and uh, um, of course, uh, the morphology influences absorption spectra of uh, these samples. So if we look at the, the uh, dense morphology, uh, it has uh, slightly uh, uh, blue shift of um, uh, band gap and uh, uh, loose morphology have uh, a slightly uh, red shift of the band gap and of course we can see uh, 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 other features corresponding to the loose and dense morphology in spectra. Um, so uh, uh, for uh, Aggregates with the loose morphology, we we uh, also found the uh, uh, abnormally uh, high uh, redshift of some aggregates, like this one, to 1.7 uh, eV. So, in order to analyze the uh, behavior of aggregates in uh, polytyphon film, we prepared uh, films. Um, uh, from a uh, co-solvent which possess different, um, uh, different uh, boiling uh, temperature from uh, 71 uh, uh, degrees for um, uh, chloroform to uh, uh, 984 for dimethyl aniline co-solvent and even uh, we used uh, PMMA uh, uh, Matrix, which has even uh, more, even higher uh, boiling temperature, well above uh, 200 degrees. And what we can see uh, that um, uh, the higher the boiling temperature of the solvent used, the higher the absorption uh, of the zero zero transition, and the higher uh, contribution of the emission uh, of zero zero transition compared to the uh, vibronic side bands. So, in order to explain this behavior, we can use, uh, in principle, uh, a model of uh, Spano, which uh, uh, considers the arrangement of uh, polytyphon polymer as a weak uh, H aggregation. So, H aggregates uh, arrange in, uh, in uh, some stacks where molecules uh, lie parallel to each other. And uh, in principle, if we have ideal H aggregates, uh, uh, we should have a um, uh, prohibited uh, tr transition from, uh, to, to the lowest uh, excited uh, level. Th this uh, level um, will be optically dark. Uh, but 
uh, in principle, we, we, we absorb suppressed zero, zero absorption here, which corresponds to just to, to this uh, uh, first uh, excited uh, um, energy level. But uh, still, it can be allowed uh, by uh, if uh, uh, H aggregates have some disorder. Um, so there are other factors which uh, influence the uh, contribution of, of um, this uh, um, absorption and emission band compared to the side bands. For example, um, mm, uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, we know that um, excitation uh, takes place not to the uh, narrow energy levels, but um, excitonic uh, band widths with non-zero uh, non widths. And the uh, smaller this uh, widths, the uh, higher, uh, uh, more ordered uh, crystallites should be. In principle, we can calculate the widths of this excitonic band uh, using uh, this formula, and we can see that uh, uh, the higher the boiling temperature of the mm, uh, solvent used uh, for preparation of films, the smaller uh, bandwidths, uh, smaller excitonic bandwidths we have. And the other factor which also can influence the uh, ratio between uh, first and second um, absorption and emission uh, bands is um, uh, interchain, interchain coupling. That means the um, interaction strength between the chains, which uh, can vary. For example, if we have um, for H aggregates, we have a rather strong uh, interchain coupling, that, and which results in separation of uh, zero zero tra transition. But if we have a chain separation, uh, uh, when chain are still ordered, we have a G aggregate like behavior when a contribution of zero zero transition increases. And how we can uh, mm, induce such a state? For example, by incorporation of uh, solvent molecules between the chains. And we observe this uh, phenomena when we increase. Uh, uh, when we apply a solvent with a higher boiling temperature, we have a high probability to incorporate the um, solvent into the chain uh, because uh, high boiling, uh, high boiling uh, sol uh, solvent is uh, uh, very hard to remove fr from the film. So uh, we can um, explain uh, the uh, disorder in uh, polytiphon aggregates uh, using three different uh, um, models. Uh, the first model explains the uh, uh, very well ordered crystalline aggregates where uh, molecules stack, uh, are stacked and uh, with no solvent uh, between the chains. In the second model, we have quasi ordered. Uh, uh, crystalline aggregates where some uh, mo uh, solvent molecules can, can be trapped uh, between the chains and induce uh, some uh, disorder. And uh, finally, uh, when we have a lot of solvents which uh, in incorporate between the chains, we have a, a highly disordered aggregate. And uh, all these uh, uh, models correspond to, to the uh, spectra which we absorbed in our experiments. So, in conclusion, uh, I tried to show you that um, polytiphon aggregates uh, have different structure depending on preparation condition, uh, whether we prepare it in solution or in films with different solvents, and the extent of ordering or disordering in polytiphon aggregates varies depending on the preparation condition and uh, also the structure of the aggregates can be controlled by uh, uh, different amount of solvent entrapped into the aggregate. So I would like to acknowledge people who helped to uh, get uh, these results and thank you for your attention.